Hi Native Scripters, it's Alex for Nuvius again. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can use the new live syncing debugging feature that's available in NativeScript 2.2.0. This is a really cool feature. I think everybody's gonna love it. So I have an app here. It's just a Hello World template called My App. So before version 2.2 .2 of NativeScript came out, I could either debug the project or I can live sync. And what live sync does is allows you to edit the files, the JavaScript files or CSS files, and have that automatically reload in the app, in the running emulator or device, which is really nice. But you couldn't do both debugging and live syncing at the same time. So just to recap, here is how you would debug a native script app. TNS debug iOS emulator, for example. I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit so you don't have to watch it load. So I would have my native script inspector, which is the debugger. Let's say I wanted to debug that tap action here. I would find it in the code. Uh, where's the tap action? Here it is on tap. So if I click tap here, it's gonna pause in the debugger there and then I can go ahead and inspect my code variables. So that's debugging. Now I'm gonna show you live syncing. And the command for that is TNS live sync iOS emulator. And you would add the watch flag if you want the changes that you're making in the code to reflect immediately in the running app. So here is our tap. We started at 42. Let's say I wanted to go ahead and make a code change. Uh, let me just move this over so you can see both sides. Let's go to the app code and I'm gonna go into my TypeScript. Let's say I wanted to start out instead of 42, I wanted to start out with 500 or 4,500, that's good. I type in 4,500 and I have 4,500 taps left. There we go. Uh, similarly, if I wanted to, let's say, change the color of the message that's typed. So I can type in here, uh, red, save that. And then the message becomes red. And I can also do the same thing with the XML. So if I wanna change the button to say click instead of tap, it also picks that up very quickly. And I have a lot of taps left. I don't think I'm gonna finish that today. So how do we debug when we're live syncing? Well, this new option is really great and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's clear the screen. And what I'm gonna do is basically combine both commands. So it's TNS debug iOS emulator and I'm gonna add that watch flag. Okay, so we have debugging turned on. I'm gonna move this off the screen a little bit so we can fit everything. I don't think we can fit everything anyway, but uh, I'm gonna try. So we have our code, we have our native script inspector, and we have the app. Now, if you have a bigger screen, this will definitely be helpful. Uh, so let's see, I want to go to the main view model here, and I wanna go ahead and put a breakpoint on the tap right there. So when I click it, the debugging still works. I can inspect my variables just like I used to. And when I go to the code editing and I change this counter to say uh, 51 and like magic, everything reboots. We have 51 tabs left and I can continue with my debugging session. And this is just really great. Native script team did a good job with this. Now there's one more little trick that I wanted to show you at the end here you can actually start your debugging, live syncing, and you can add an extra flag here called debug break. What this will do is it'll pause immediately upon the start of the program. So if you want to debug your, um, your application code, for example, this would be the way to do it. Okay, there's our app running in the emulator. And the native script inspector automatically breaks on the very first line of execution, which is the uh, app.ts file or app.js file right there. So if we need to take a look at what's happening there, we can step through the code. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this and now we have a lot more power to debug and live sync native script apps. Thanks for watching.